very common issue that people face when getting divorced is how to divide up the house. My name is Laura Hurd, and after practicing family law in San Antonio, Texas for more than 35 years, I can tell you that I have seen this come up many times. The best way that we've found is for the party who doesn't keep the house to get more assets and maybe less debt to balance out the fact that the party who has the house is getting the equity, half of the equity that would have otherwise been split between the parties. Another solution, of course, is to sell the house and then divide up the money. But if one person wants to keep the house, we recommend that that person refinance if both of them are on the loan. In the process of refinancing, sometimes they can get a cash out refinance that gives them cash to pay the party who isn't keeping the house. And the one who is keeping the house then has the debt placed totally in their name so that the party who doesn't have the house doesn't have that debt on their credit record. Another solution would be if you trade off assets so that the party who doesn't get the house maybe gets all of the retirement plan or some other large asset to make up for the half of the equity that they would have otherwise gotten out of the house.